Good morning. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. He's a dork. Alright. This is the 7th of May, right? Yep. 2017. And this is episode 134. Are you double checking me? Yep. Yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right. I'm not kicking like stuff down a minute. Alright. Now, if you get everything stirred up, what's going to happen? We're going to be up creek with that paddle. Because all you're going to hear is the pink screen, huh? Yep. Alright, so moving right on into it. Um, in the barn stalls. We had a lot going on in the barn stalls, first off. Um, the goats have been just driving me crazy. What's been going on with the goats? They took a class in locksmithing last week. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, we have not been able to keep them in. <laughs> they all collaborated together and learned how to hop over, crawl under, bail through, and or any other method to get through fences. They're escape artists. Mm -hmm. It's mainly Holly. On the bright side, the class was a success and they learned very much. <laughs> Holly has been taking two of her babies and getting out on the old highway. I had a lady pull up and tell me that... Those babies were just too young to be out there on the road. I wanted to look at her and say, I didn't put them out there on purpose. They got out. Okay, so apparently it's my fault. So we went along and we fixed all the things. I couldn't figure out where Holly is. Um, hi, what are you rattle rattling? Eating. I'm borrowing your granola bar. She can have I don't want a bag. Um, anyway, so Holly's getting out along the road and she's taking two of the triplets with her. And so, I got them into the milk pen. I've tried to rework the pasture fence, and I can't figure out how they're doing it. I think she's jumping, and they're finding a little loophole. But I found where they're, um, uh -huh. at one point, the baby goats were still going out and getting around. Even though Holly was staying in the um, milking pen. So, I got Holly contained first. And then I went along the fence, and they actually were climbing under the fence. So I put a lot of stuff up there um, just to keep them from going out. And once I kept them in, I was doing pretty good. Right? This went on for like days. So he's going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's been gone rodeoing, and I've been chasing goats. So yeah, it's not a concern to him. Uh, then tell about Gonzo while I go take care of my pig. What happened with him? Well, Gonzo started getting out. We don't know why. He just out of blue started crawling out. Control your pig! And he'll get out. And uh, he'll go down the gravel road, graze his way down there. He can come up to the house and eat in the front yard. The non-fenced in part. So, we took... And we put him in the man pen. And he started getting out of there. So, we put him in another pen. And he got out of that one too. So, mom went and put him in the dog pen. And he never got out of the dog pen. But it's also very, very small. So, I went through and fixed some fence on the man pen. So, he shouldn't be able to get out of the man pen. Yeah. Tell him about Gonzo. Tell him he ended up in a timeout pen for mm -hmm. almost a day and a half. No, I didn't tell him how long he was there. I just said he had one dog pen. Yeah, for about two, a day and a half. Proving that one day he was in there almost the next day. He was there the whole next day. And by the next day, noon, we got some spots fixed. Just tell him about the little dwarf goat, too, because that thing's been getting out of there. No, but it, it's been contained in the equipment pen, so, yeah, okay, so goats everywhere. Oh, they're just escaping. All right, then, for the chickens, we took the bathroom chick out, and she integrated with the others really well, didn't she? Mm -hmm. And then we graduated the nine bigger ones out to the chicken coop, so they're getting acclimated out there, mm -hmm. and... 
They're all doing good. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, all right. And then what else? Should we talk about that? Is not for this. Um, the horses. What do I want on with the horses this week? Let's see. The first, the farrier came. They got new shoes. No, two got new shoes. Storm got her shoes back. We got on Nikes. We got little Nikes. They're specialty. They're, they're awesome. Top of the line, guys. You can get some of these yourself. They're comfortable. Mm -hmm. They um, think it's cool. Coop so got, when you're on Coop got her shoes reset in a trim. And Storm got her shoes back. Now, why did, not, why did Storm not have any on? Because she'd been hurt, so we took them off and turned her out. Anytime we turn them out, and it's just good practice. If they're going to be out to heel on the mend for any length of time, jerk their shoes off. Um, we let them be a horse, as we call it, correct? Uh -huh. They're naked and just out there running in the pasture. It does them a world of good. Um, they're smart and they get bored easily, but being out of the pasture, they just seem to enjoy it, huh? Perfect. Half the time they're hurt, and then the other half the time they spend. Once they start getting well, well, then they're like, <laughs> yeah, because then they want to be back up there. Coop, she last time she was hurt, she loaded herself back in the box, box and would wait there, try and make him rope off her. She wouldn't move and let him any of the other horses in there to rope. She'd just stand there, like, nope, you're gonna rope off me. <laughs> All right, so um, we started a new treatment on Cavayus Spot. Yep. So. We'll let you know how that goes. Um, and then you and I did what? We worked all the horses this week. Mm -hmm. How many of them took us out? All of them. Mm -mm. Minus one. One did not. So all of them have been under saddle, right? Precious is learning to rope, and she's doing pretty good. Is she back in the box? Yep. Yeah. You still feeding her out there in the box? So when I feed her, yeah. She's she, turned she's, out. Yeah, she's been turned out. But she, uh, when you make the box a happy place, she just doesn't want to back into the box. So that's the last step to really getting her going, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Coop is fine. Ice is fine. Storm's healed and fine, so she can ride. You stop it. If I don't have toothpicks on mine, you can't do We're tired. You'll find out why in the farmhouse. Um... Which, if you've watched for any length of time, you probably already know why. Um, then, Durf. Has he been under saddle? Not as we he has before. Okay, but what's going on with him? Come on. He has a rib out. Yep. Horses can pop a rib out just like we can pop ribs out. Um, but they end up like rolling or any, eat very easily. Yeah. So, he, and especially with him growing and being so big. So, um, he'll roll around and pop it back in, but we don't want to saddle him until then. That is a skewer near your eye, and don't you dare do that. Dork. What kind of influence you being on little kids? You don't put sticks around your eyes. Ow, and you don't hit your mommy. Moving on. Do you see what I put up with? Stop. Stop. All right, and what about Kavayu and Star? Give me that. What about Kavayu and Star? They did wonderfully amazing. Da, 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 da. We have threw a saddle on Kavayu and we cinched up a saddle on Star. Done. What's next? You're not funny. Um, Kavayu actually had the saddle fall off and how did he react? Will you stop it? And how did he react? He went. He just, just like that. to the just side and that was side. it. He didn't go bucking and storting and all that, did he? And Star, how did she do when the... But how did she do when you cinched her up? She went. we got to get another um, saddle that's got a back cinch on it and see if she'll take a back cinch now, huh? She wouldn't walk, is what he's getting at. And it's because somebody tried to lead her like an old horse when you should be leading her like a new horse with some confidence. But other than that, once she grabbed her neck and walked off, she did good, didn't she? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see here. Anything else? The pig. The pig is a pig. Pretty much, and everything we've been told about the pig is not exactly true. Um, she's not housebroken unless she put her potty box where she wants it. She was peeing on the floor, huh? Mm -hmm. With the potty box all nice and clean over in the other corner. 
shoot over in front of my stove and pee. So that ended. Um, she uh, was through, got rid of the potty box, took that, and she now has an outside kennel, and we're potty training her like a dog, not a cat, which is doable. Um, we take her out lots of times, right? Mm -hmm. We have learned, uh, she had a halter. They said she only squeals when you're putting it on. That was a disaster, was it not? Mm -hmm. And when you did get it on her, she didn't move on it very well. So she's very bloody murder. She did. Um, so we have taken to moving her with a little flag, which is for, what do they use this for? Cattle or horses? They use them for horses, so. But anyway. A general all-purpose tool. Yes, it's just, why don't you go get it, and we'll show it to him real quick so we can see. It's just um, a square on a little handle, and I just move it like this to make her understand she doesn't have a choice, and she goes where I want her to go. Um, she's been moving in and out for the last three or four days really well. She goes out a couple times a day and comes in a couple times a day. Here comes the flag. I should have known better than just not in myself. Not in the house and quit. You're going to have her cowing. Quit. She doesn't like it, but we just put it. Let go. Come on. Dork. Anyway, it's just. It's I'm flag. a dork? Yes, yeah, sure. I am not. No such thing. Don't know what that is. Get your butt back over here and finish. Anyway, we've had it. I think we've had it for. We do have it for. Sit your butt down. Now quit your messing up with the hand. Um, we've had it since you were working with pigs, like for showing, huh? The flow? Yeah. No, Dad and I found that one. We might have had a different one, but Dad and I found that one on the road the other day. About two years ago. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, we move her with that. And that we find really, really cool good. stuff on the side of our road. We found a pair of fencing pliers. They're like brand new. We found that. Found a hitch for truck. yeah. We found one of those too. People lose all kinds of cool stuff on our road. Anyway, all right. So it might be the fact that it's really, really bumpy and all this stuff bounces off. Mm-hmm. All right. So she's moving. She's doing better. She comes in and out. She's got an outside pen. We take her out. Put her out there. She pees and poos out there, and we do it several times a day, um, like with the dogs, just like potty training a dog. And I haven't had any accidents since. Correct. So, all right, mending fences. Daddy fixed the lights on the trailer. Have we fixed anything else? Hmm. Not really. Uh, well, fence fixed a lot of freaking fence. A lot of fixing <laughs> of the fence. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, in the yarn farm. Visitors are coming in, but they're just kind of trickling. I did do a demo um, at the museum yesterday. Um, and I did it on their antique walking wheel, which is really cool. It's about two years older than mine, but not as well loved. Uh, well, it's actually really, really neglected. Um, they've been oiling it up and waxing it up, and it's doing better. So, um, But it has its own issues. Don't we all? Yep. So in the fields. What else we going on in the fields? We have peaches. Will you stop it? Get through this. Come on. All right. Boom, right through. Yesterday was naked gardening day. Did you garden naked? No, I didn't know. We know all this voluptuous would not. It would run people off. Why didn't you garden naked? I wasn't home enough to. You were home enough to this. garden. You just didn't want to get naked. I didn't want to garden. <laughs> there you go. We'd scare visitors off. We did National Gardening Naked Day or whatever. All right, so we have peaches showing up on the trees, a lot of them. Um, we have some apples. Uh, my onions are doing good. The uh, mint, lemon balm, all that. i got to get the Johnson grass. I think when we made those beds, it was, what, three years ago mm -hmm. for the mint and that. And I put down uh, cardboard, and then I put down wool. And I think it has started to compost away because I got a lot of Johnson grass shooting up through there. So it is what it is. Um, I bought you two strawberries at the garden at the farmer's market, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Bought them two little strawberry plants, right? Yep. Yeah, again, we're not gonna have strawberries this year. Right. And then I went down and checked my garden. Yeah. 
we're probably not going to have any of those seeds that um, I uh, planted out there. I went down and like, you're supposed to put hay over the ground. Half of it's washed away. <laughs> and then to add insult to injury, if Mother Nature wasn't cruel enough to our garden, the two rows that I had planted of seeds um, have little holes. So something's been going along and digging up my seeds. <laughs> so, I don't know if there's anything left in the garden. But I've been beating the wild life real good, haven't I? Mm -hmm. I think they either my beans or my peas. I can't remember which one. <laughs> Probably my peas. I don't know. I, the dogs were after a possum the other day. So, I don't know what would dig it up. All right. Anything else in the fields? Any of the gardens? No. Um, my I am hardening off my plants in the barn. Been trying and to do that for two weeks. I know, and it's not going very successfully. But I do have dragons, eggs, cucumbers coming out in two leaves now. So I'm excited about that. No lupus yet. Those are two things I was really excited about. The black tomatoes started sprouting too. So I'm super excited about those. Um. All right, let's see where we at in the farmhouse. What do we got going on? Oh yes, RJ I drew took, a picture. RJ took part in his first collaboration. I drew this picture, guys. He did. All and, me. And it's for a Mother's Day collaboration with Natural Living Homestead. They have now, um, some twin girls doing this. This I, is I think me. They're like 12. I have my tongue out. I gotta tell you about this picture. See that one's me. I got my tongue out. Can you see? Alright, we see. Then that one's mom. Mm hmm With long, long hair. Long, long hair. She said she wanted long hair. And no, this is the grass. I said I have long hair. And this is the cow. So I put a lot of work on the cow. The cow has blue curly hair. And then she's, she's sticking tongue. her tongue out. Mm hmm Anyway, Plus so. Plus horns. Got horns and a fuzzy tail. I put real fuzzy tail on. Yeah. And then, wait, the best part. I put the sun in the corner. So it's a Can't sunny day. It can't see it, but you can see the stuff that's written on the oh. back. <laughs> we reused a piece of paper that we had for something else. <laughs> that's okay. Well, there's a sun in the corner. It's got sun, it's got grass, it's got me, mom, and a cat. So, there we go. Alright, if you have kids and you're watching this, have your kids draw a picture. I can't remember all the rules, but pop on over to, and I'll try to remember to put a link below, over to Natural Living Homestead. And, um, they have a funny email too. It's www.naturallivingmom. at no naturallivingmom at gmail. Anyway, looks like a web page. <laughs> so, right? Mm -hmm. They're doing that, and it doesn't have to be your mom. Um, they're doing it for Mother's Day, so anybody that you look up to or whatever it can be, your granny, mm -hmm. your auntie, your your cousin, Best your friend, brother, sisters, yeah, just whoever. It doesn't have to just be moms. It can be anybody. So, and you don't have to draw a picture. Um, they said you can even just take one. So, and then they're doing a Mother's Day collaboration. So, anyway, what else went on in the farmhouse? I did the museum thing. I worked on your bedroom, right? Uh, we're calling it RJ's place, and I got the ref. Refreshment area, all done, huh? Mm -hmm. How's it look? Just peachy. No, there's no peach color in there at all. I didn't use peach. Huh. What? <laughs> it is what color walls with what color? Purple walls with pink It is trim. not. Pink walls with purple trim. It is not. It is gray walls with pink trim pink trim. And the more I paint that paint, the more I keep saying it looks like Pepto-Bismol. Just say it. Just say it. Alright. And then, oh, I made another cheese yesterday, but <clears throat> it wasn't very good. It's horrible. I don't like it with the brine soak. It's supposed to like put a little rind on it. So last, oh my gosh. I don't know if I did it wrong or what, but I am never doing that again. Just wasted my time. It's good cheese up until that brine um, soak. So, are you holding my hand? Oh, um, 
he's got me handcuffed or so he thinks. Anyway, it is starting to dry up around here, right? Um, what else? I last night he was out late, Rodeo. Why are we tired? Because I've been out late every night. Doing what? Rodeo. His rodeo weekend started Thursday. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? How did you do? Come on. Went Southwest City Thursday. I ended up one out of the kick rope in there and got flagged out in the team rope. And then. Now, when you say you went Thursday, it was actually Thursday performance, or Thursday slack, Friday and Saturday performance. So. Yep. They had it was a three day thing. You went and did your thing, and then you didn't find out how you did until last night. I found out last night, and then I read you somebody had come from there and knew how it went. Yep, and so he was one out of the money, so no paycheck there. No. And then got flagged out. Now explain what's that mean? You got flagged out. It means I did something illegal by the rules. They flagged us out. I crossed fire. In other words, he roped it too fast. The header has to come up and turn the steer before he ropes it. And if they decide that the header hasn't turned it far enough, when RJ hits it, well, you moved your hand. then... I got her snared, guys. Let's tie her to the spin. Mm -hmm. She got a win. So, anyway. Um, so that happened, and then what happened Friday? Uh, oh, my header's missed. The jackpot. Was a jackpot team open, correct? Yep. Now there was some others that got rained out, right? Yeah, there was no now <laughs> when we say rained out. They flooded. The arena's flooded. We mean how many feet of water was in those chutes? Four feet, probably. Probably four foot of water. If you'd have tied down a calf, you'd have killed it because it would have drowned. It'd been it's not just muddy. Side. It yeah. It, it was. It was deep enough for them to put a boat in the rope. They put boats. it. They were joking around, and it's a college town, so the college kids went out there and they took and put a John boat with a little motor on it, and said, "I'm ready to rope," you know. And they took pictures for Facebook, just being funny. It was something to do. Everything was canceled because, you know. But we're talking four foot of water out there with boats in the arena. So uh, there was some other towns that um, they were water skiing, weren't they? Yeah, that was still work. Yeah, still water was That's water. That's another skiing. college town. So. Yeah, so the college towns always produced a great Facebook. Uh, please stop. Anybody want him? I will mail him to you today. But you have to feed him. That's the bad part. And as you can see, he constantly eats. Um. So anyway, that was canceled, right? Now, what'd you do last night? Come on. We went to Tahlequah and nowhere. And how did you do it, Tahlequah? Missed in the cafe open. It was long in the team open. Then we went to no water, and I was long in the cafe open and missed in the team open. Or my header missed. I didn't miss. So, and where are you going today? To another team rope. Okay. Gotta get my steed warmed up. Where are you? Stop. He's slow. He won't move. Oh, 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 get him okay. Over. So now you know. I'm just tired. This thing. He's always wound up. Do not. Camera. Do not knock it off there. I will beat you. They will see. Oh, I guess you're not a child because you're 19. But I will beat the fire out of you. Oh. I got it. I <laughs> snared it right off the there. <laughs> he did. I bet Jack can do it again, too. All right. So while he was gone, I watched a little podcast called um, Diversified Acres Homestead. Um, they did a live thing. Stop it. Not playing. Um, they did a little live podcast, and I found them on last night clicking through. I was. Um, you might not be, but I am. What? Play it. <sighs> to the moon. Right to the moon. Um, anyway, we're so close to being done. Give me the rope. Give me. Oh, my gosh. All right. Anyway, I watched Diversified Acres. They were pretty cool. They seem really nice. Um, he broke his neck, and then, um, they had used all my, oh, my, they had used all my, stop it. Get ready to play He-Man. 
um, they took and used all their reserves, their food reserves, and they've had to sell off animals and stuff for financial reasons. But, um, yeah, they were really nice. Cute little couple there. and Homesteading in Ohio, I think. Idaho. Illinois. Up north. All right, so that's about all that's been going on here. Um, except for on the porch. I have been working on my... Dirt Patch Heaven back. Now, RJ is going to be our lovely model because I don't want to have to take it off this wheel because this is very temperamental. And if I take the bobbin off, well, I won't get it back on there to spin. So he's going to show you. Can you not get it closer? Don't you dare. Sick. There we go. All right. So we have this spun right here. It's got pinks and greens. He's spinning the wheel. It's got pinks and greens, and this is that that the um, Dirt Patch Heaven girls made me while they were there. Well, they made themselves two, and then um, they left one on the carter, and I took it off. So it's got pinks, greens, and it's supposed to be, oh, and it has glitter. It has glit. Um, and it is supposed to be springish. So there we go. Can't really see the glitz and the glitter. But it's turned out pretty cute. Um, I'm probably just going to make a two-ply out of it, but it's something I'm trying to get some more yarns in the, um, what do you call it, shop, but I've got to go out there and get the shop set up, so that is my goal this weekend, which so far has not been happening, but I also had a headache this weekend, didn't I, mm -hmm. like a bad headache, but, and no, he doesn't act like this when I have a headache, he was actually pretty nice to me, huh? All right, and off to market, we don't have anything for sale. Well, we do, but I'm not doing the Etsy shop right now. So um, we do have some sponsorships for the kids' programs, right? You want to hustle. I wish he'd never seen Sylvester and Tweety. I really do. <laughs> Let's hustle. Anyway, no, it's a good thing we're coming to the end, huh? Because he's done. All right, where are you going today? I don't know where it's at. It's a team roping. He's going to the team roping, and you're riding with them, right? So yep. you're gonna have to get out there. I gotta go milk. We gotta put the pig out and um, get chores done so you can go. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna say goodbye. All of this awesomeness here. Goodbye until we meet again. Lonesome friend. How does that go? I have no clue what you're even talking about. There's always that, that, that song on the end of the Western shows. You know what I'm talking about? The old Westerns. The goodbye. And the Dad, you have a trail. The happy trails. That's it. Thank you, Dad. You're good for something today. <laughs> that's happy a, trails to you. Till we meet again. Okay. Yeah, we're not goodbye. going there. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Hey, we cannot forget mommy cookies, cookies, chocolate chip cookies, guys, cookies. All right, I'm done. Bye.